Hey, welcome back to the channel. In this video, you'll see exactly how to use ExpressVPN step by step so you can really get the most out of your subscription. Whether you've already installed ExpressVPN and just want to make sure everything's set up the right way, or you're still checking if it's a good fit for you, this quick walkthrough should help a lot. We'll go through the main settings, how to use it for streaming and torrenting, and the features you'll probably end up using most often. If you want to follow along or pick up ExpressVPN with a discount, there are helpful links waiting for you in the description below. Feel free to check those out anytime. When you open the app for the first time, the main thing you'll notice is the big power button in the center. For many people, that's honestly all you'll ever need. You open ExpressVPN, tap that button, and you're connected. No need to touch advanced menus or play around with anything technical. When you press that button, ExpressVPN connects you automatically to a location it thinks is best based on speed and distance. That's perfect when you just want safe, encrypted browsing and don't care which country you appear to be in. For example, if you're on public Wi-Fi at an airport, hotel, or coffee shop, and you have no idea who else is on that network, one tap is enough to lock down your connection and keep your data private. If you do want a specific country, that's easy to set up as well. Open the menu icon at the top left, choose Locations, and you'll see three sections, Favorites, Recommended, and All. Favorites shows any locations you've saved for quick access. Recommended highlights fast, stable options and some of your recent picks. Under All, you'll find the complete list of available servers. With thousands of servers in over 100 countries, there's more than enough variety to unlock content from almost anywhere. ExpressVPN isn't just about security, though. Lots of people use it to access shows and movies that are blocked in their home region. Because many of its servers are tuned for streaming and P2P traffic, it works very smoothly for this. For example, if you want to watch something on US Netflix while you're abroad, you simply pick a US server from the list, connect, refresh Netflix, and you're ready to watch. It really can be that simple. If you use torrents, ExpressVPN has some important tools for you as well. Two of the key ones are the kill switch and split tunneling. The kill switch can cut off your internet if the VPN connection drops unexpectedly, which keeps your real IP from leaking mid-download. Split tunneling lets you choose which specific apps use the VPN and which connect normally. So you might send only your torrent client through ExpressVPN while leaving online games or other apps outside the tunnel to keep them running at full speed. These same features are also very useful in countries with strong censorship and restrictions. Without a kill switch, a short interruption could reveal what you're doing to the local network. With it turned on, your traffic simply stops instead of suddenly switching back to an unprotected connection. Split tunneling also helps you keep using local services like banking on your normal network while sending blocked sites and apps through the VPN. ExpressVPN has been adding extra protections like a threat blocking tool to stop some trackers and malicious sites, along with a built-in password manager for people who want one place to handle both privacy and passwords. These additions sit on top of the main VPN features without making the app feel too complicated or overloaded. As for speed, any VPN will slow things down a little, but ExpressVPN is designed to keep that impact fairly low. On a decent connection, you can usually expect only a moderate drop, which is still fine for streaming in high resolution, video calls, and gaming. Their newer protocol options are built specifically to reduce slowdown as much as possible, so you can stay protected without feeling like you've lost your whole connection. For most users, that's all you need to start using ExpressVPN confidently. There are more advanced settings hidden in the menus, but the default setup is already tuned well, so you don't have to change anything unless you enjoy tweaking things. If you decide you want to try ExpressVPN yourself, check out the discount links in the description. If this walkthrough helps you, leaving a like is always appreciated. And if you have any questions or want to share your own experience with ExpressVPN, drop a comment below. It's always good to hear what's working for you. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.